Revelation chapter 17, verses 1 to 18. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven wells, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will shew unto thee the judgment of the great hold that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet colored and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon, the great, the mother of holies and abominations of the earth. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of saints and with the blood of martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. And the angel said unto me, Way full. Then the marvel, I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the beast which carried her, which had seven heads and ten horns. And the beast that the sawest was and is not shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition. And they that dwell upon the earth shall wonder whose names are not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, when they behold the beast that was and is not and at ease. And here is the mind which hath wisdom. The seven heads are the seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. And there are seven kings. Five were fallen, and one is, and the other is not at come. When he cometh, he must continue a short space. And the beast that was and is not, even he is the eight, and he is of the seven, and goeth into perdition. And the ten horns, which the size of ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings, one hour with the beast, these shall have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. These shall make war with the, with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them, for he is Lord of lords and King of kings, and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. And he said unto me, The waters which the sighest way, the host said it, are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. And the ten horns which the sighest upon the beast, they shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. For God has put in their hearts to fulfill his will, and to agree to give the kingdom unto the beast, until the words of God shall be fulfilled. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city, which reigneth over the kings of the earth. <clears throat> 